हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डी नोटिफाइड नोमैडिक सेमी नोमैडिक ट्राइब्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज The parliamentary panel on social justice and empowerment has pulled up the union government over the very slow process to categorize over 260 denotified nomadic and semi-nomadic tribes or DNTs under either the SC, ST or OBC list. Now let's discuss who are denotified nomadic and semi-nomadic tribes or DNTs. The term denotified tribes stands for all those communities which were once notified under the Criminal Tribes Acts. These acts were enforced by the British Raj between 1871 and 1947. These acts were repealed by the government of India in 1952 and these communities were denotified. A few of these communities which were listed as denotified were also nomadic. Nomadic are social groups who undertook seasonal physical movement as part of their livelihood strategy in the recent past. The term semi-nomad is mostly used to describe those sections of nomads whose duration distance and frequency of movement is comparatively less than others now let's discuss about their status in india more than 10 crore indians from over 1400 communities are either denotified nomadic or semi nomadic the government of india in 2014 had constituted National Commission for Denotified Nomadic and Semi-Nomadic Tribes or NCDNT IDT Commission for a period of 3 years to prepare a state-wise list of caste belonging to denotified and nomadic tribes and to suggest appropriate measures in respect of denotified and nomadic tribes that may be undertaken by the central or the state government The NCD NT or RNK commission 2008 was earlier commissioned to identify and list the DNT communities. Now let's have a look at the Development and Welfare Board for Denotified Nomadic and Semi-Nomadic Communities or DWB DNCs. The IDT commission recommended the setting up of a permanent commission for these communities. The government therefore set up the DWB DNCs in 2019 under the chairmanship of Bikhu Ramji Aitate. It is a society under the aegis of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment for the purpose of implementing welfare programs. Now let's discuss about the SEED scheme that is scheme for economic empowerment of DNTs. The scheme was launched in February 2022 by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Total fund allocation for the scheme is rupees 200 crore to be spent over 5 years from financial year 2021-22 to financial year 2025-26. If we talk about the components, these are educational empowerment, providing free competitive exam coaching for DNT candidates, health health insurance through pm jan arogya yojana livelihoods through national and state rural livelihood missions or nrlm and srlms land and housing financial assistance for construction of houses through pm awas yojana the dwb dncs has been tasked with the implementation of this scheme the dnt communities whose family income from all sources is 2.50 lakhs or less who are not availing benefits under any other central or state schemes now it's time for the practice question consider the following statements one the term denotified tribes stands for all those communities which were once notified under the criminal tribes acts two the idet commission recommended the setting up of a permanent commission for these communities which of the above given statement or statements is or are not correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.